guys, Mickey Hattie, Avalanche Motorsports here in Washington, North Carolina. Uh, we're out here on this beautiful 368 uh, Commander 2024. It's running triple uh, 400 Mercury Verados, the new V10s. So we're gonna go up to the front and start there and work our way to the back. So up here at the front, you have a nice little layout area for facing backrest. If you don't want to face forward, you can always lay them down, just like that. Now the bow filler table. The bow filler table can be used just like it is as a platform or you can raise it all the way up. So here's the table in its uh, fully raised position. The back rests are down. Sit around, have drinks, hang out with the family, talk and chit chat while you're at the sandbar. When you're ready to go, all you have to do is you can come here, press permit and press down. And you can run this table all the way down to its level with the floor. So now that the table's all the way down, you can see here, it has a premium sound system. We're running two 12 inch JL audio subs with eight, seven and a half inch uh, normal speakers. They're all powered by three different amps. Also up here at the front, you have a wireless charger. Keeps it nice, dry and safe. You have your through hole windlass at the front. There's 15 feet of chain, 200 feet of uh, anchor road. You also have controls to the side to control the windlass from the front and also at the console. Now this boat has one of the upgraded options of the uh, sunshade. So if you're hanging out at a sandbar or whatnot, you wanna sit here at a nice table with a shaded area. Uh, there's four nice carbon fiber poles. You pop in, put the shade on and enjoy it. Moving on back, this is a nice little layout area. You have your, uh, your armrest here and then two built-in cup holders here. Multiple storage areas throughout the boat. One's located here, and then one on each side underneath the seats. Now it doesn't matter, you can, uh, even if your backrest is up in the up position, you can still access whatever you have in those compartments. Moving on back, as you see, you have two rod holders and rod holders here. They're all stainless steel rod holders. There's 26 of them throughout the entire boat. Moving on back, we have midship storage here, both port and starboard side. From there, you have your fish boxes, both port and starboard. They're 91 gallons uh, with built-in macerators and they are insulated. This boat also has a swim door, tuna door. Uh, some people refer it to different things. Open it up, swings to the side, just like that. Once that's open, it's a cool built-in feature. No more is there having to pull a ladder out of a storage compartment. Everything's right here for you. It easily comes out, deploys to be able to get in and out of the water. All right, guys, this is a cockpit area. This is where all the business happens, all your fishing and all the fun and excitement. You'll see two aft-facing chairs here and here. Also, your, your bait prep station is in between the two chairs. Uh, we have a Garmin 8610 that faces aft, so when you're back here, you can see your water depth and also see all your sonar and radar readings from that, too. Your bait prep station is going to include uh, your complete area for your storage, for all of your gear, tackle, uh, pliers, knives, and that sort of thing. Also, you have this nice countertop right here. It serves as a dual purpose. If you flip it over, you can use it to cut all your bait and prep it before you put it on the hook. Also, you have this nice strainer here so no fish guts or anything like that it gets down in the drain and clogs anything up. Your fresh water wash down for that is, is right here, a little pop out, shine a shower nozzle. So not only do you have the fresh water wash down, for your bait station area, you also have two other freshwater washdown locations. One's here back at the rear of the boat, just above the raw water washdown connection, and then one at the front of the boat to be able to wash down the uh, anchor line, chain, and road. You also have a drawer for other utensils and other needs there. All these boats come standard with a 65 quart Yeti cooler. This cooler's on a slide. This boat also comes with uh, fender pros. What fender pros allow you to do is you tie your fenders off one time and you never have to tie them again. They pop in, pop out. You have two 50 gallon live wells, one on either side, both port and starboard. This boat also has uh, two coolers and or freezers. You can use them either or. At the back of the boat, uh, yeah, there's two flush ports, both port and starboard side. Uh, so when you're done for the day, you can flush your motors out. It's one quick connection. Uh, first click on the button is gonna be for 15 minutes. Uh, it's going to run through each motor and then the second click of the button is going to run each motor for seven and a half minutes. 
whenever you're done fishing or you just want to go hang out at the sandbar, this boat comes with an option of a rear canopy. What that rear canopy does is it's going to cover the entire cockpit area and protect you from the sun. All right, guys, so once your canopy's out, you reach right down here, grab your jump seat, pull one hand, and flip it down, and then you're ready to sit back and relax. With the two rear-facing jump seats and this little jump seat right here, everybody can be face-to-face, -face, have a good conversation, and uh, hang out. Just underneath that jump seat, you have a, uh, your machinery space. Inside that machinery space is going to be the Seat Keeper 3. The Seat Keeper 3, what it's going to allow is it's going to stop the roll of the boat. So it gives you time to fight the fish and not fight the roll. This boat is also equipped with the onboard charging system. What the onboard charging system does is it maintains your batteries for your motors and also the, all the electronics in the boat. This boat has uh, six, three for the motor, three for your, all your electronics, and then it also has two. The other two six volt batteries run for your air condition and for your Xantrac system. These boats also have 360 degree uh, lighting capabilities. So as you're pulling up to the dock or you're out fishing or something at nighttime and you need to see any part of the boat with, uh, you have side spreaders, front spreader, rear spreader. The light board at the front of the boat allows a flood projection out in front of you. It is uh, mounted on top of the T-top. Here at the console, uh, you have a couple of switches at the back. The rear nav lights allow you more uh, bridge clearance and everything is electronic and it moves up and down so you can raise and lower it as needed by the ease and quickness of pushing a button this boat also has the gym lux uh, outriggers super super nice system easily adjustable up and down and also move them right and left moving over to the console we have the Garmin 8622s, uh, some of the biggest screens Garmin makes. Everything's networked together between these two Garmins and the Garmin at the rear, so you can share information and see any information from any screen you want to or choose to. You have your Mercury joystick that does heading hold, sky hook, and follow track. The new Gen 2 uh, Mercury controls for your port and starboard motor with all electronics, uh, trim assist to go along with it. All right, up top we have two wireless uh, phone chargers. You also have your vent controls uh, for any air, you know, it's hot summer day, you want to get a little bit of air, you can open and close it, all electronic. Hey guys, join me inside the console and show you what Seafox has to offer. <laughs> 